Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours, and thank you for spending some time with me today here on the channel. Today, I'm in Woodburn, Oregon, and we're visiting Factory Expo Home Centers. And what is behind me is a cute and quaint little RV park model I thought we should take a look at. So, let's get going. I'm going to tell you all about it. Today's RV park model comes to you from Fleetwood Homes of Oregon, which is right next door to Factory Expo Home Centers here in Woodburn, Oregon. And this floor plan is one of many that this factory produces, and this one is awesome, just like the rest of them. What we're looking at, everybody, comes from the Cascadia Value Line, and it's known as the Ferment. I mean, take a look at those windows. We've got a loft in there we're going to take a look at in a moment. This is a one bed, one bath that sits at 399 square feet. The dimensions of this home is 35 feet by 12 feet and that cutout right there is where your water access is. The base price for this model is $69,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? So how much living space is in this RV park model? That's what we're going to find out. Walking in, taking a look around, I see all of those big windows letting all of that natural light in that I pointed out on the outside and what I appreciate too is all of those valances that's a nice touch you know it helps when you hang the curtains and so forth but hey do me a favor before we get started leave a like on this video it always helps me out helps the channel out and helps get this video to more people and if you haven't done so consider hitting that subscribe button so then that way you'll see these home tours as soon as I post them. Now back into this home, the living room size here is 9 feet 3 inches by 10 feet 6 inches. That's a decent amount of size I'd have to say. And then spinning around, look at all of those windows up top, just that extra natural light. I love that. Take a look at the kitchen area. Right here onto your right hand side, you kind of have a small dining area um, that you could consider a very small table for two or, you know, maybe three. Um, but coming into this kitchen, I am loving and digging the uh, countertop here. That is a nice countertop and that is a nice sink. Looking over here, this home is set up with the uh, stainless steel appliance package, which of course you could change in the ordering process and you change it to a gas or electric. But look at this inset sink and that gooseneck faucet. That is really nice. I love the fact that that window can open, let that natural you know light in, let air in everything else. So um, good amount of storage for a uh, you know, a park model. Over there you have the adjustable shelves in the corner unit. Over here you have some deep set kind of pantry space where the top one is an adjustable shelf, the bottom one is not. But, you know, that that's helpful. We have a nice size Whirlpool uh, stainless steel fridge there, as you can see. And taking a look around, I, I, there's a few drawers. Um, it's kind of minimized, you know, for the space. But they're doing a great job with the space that they have, so... Um, coming into this guest bath, <laughs> guest bath, it's the only bath, right? Uh, coming on and you take a look, we have a nice elongated water saving uh, toilet there. Um, some storage area on the left hand side, there's a shelf underneath the countertop. I love the countertop, nice single vanity. And coming over here, we have a, a decent sized um, shower tub combo. Um, taking a look at that, nice shower head there that comes with the home. and take a look right there that's actually a decent size I mean it's not a 30 by 60 but it's pretty close um, a decent size for an RV park model in my opinion right there on the far side where that blue tape is that's where your electrical panel is and we have a little bit more storage over here I wanted to show you another um, another cupboard with an adjustable shelf and some storage underneath we have the stairs there that'll take you all the way up to the loft and Let's go check it out. Now the loft size, everyone, here is 15 feet 9 inches by 10 feet 6 inches. The clearance up top, it's about 3 feet or so. Right now I'm actually shuffling my knees and trying to keep this video as smooth as possible. But that is the, uh, the amount of space up here. You know, you have some electrical outlets. You have some space. I mean, you could do kind of like a small couch, maybe a couple of, you know, small, you know, air beds or just beds for guests. Or, you know, if if you have, you know, if you're on the older side and you have grandchildren, this would be a great spot for them to play, you know, because I would have loved to come up there and sleep and play and all that good stuff because I slept in my grandparents' mobile home when I was up visiting. So I would have loved a space like this. It looks fun. Um, but a lot of windows, great construction up here, great carpet. Um, I'm going to get down because 
you know, my knees are starting to hurt from scooting here. So uh, that's a pretty decent sized space. Uh, what do you think? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. And if you want to know more about this home, there's a couple options that you can change. There's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can take a 3D tour, see some photos, some maybe some more video, and get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. Because this one, as as, as shown, is $87,000 here in um in Woodburn, Oregon, and the base price is $69,000, but that could be different depending on where you're at. And now, of course, we're in the bedroom here, and the size of this bedroom is 8 feet 2 inches by 8 feet 6 inches. From right here, we have a nice, decent-sized closet with a mirror, you know, with mirror doors. And, you know, if, if you don't know, more often than not, the reason they use mirror doors is to give you a bigger illusion of space in the room. But this is actually a decent size. You could easily fit in, you know, a, a clean bed here. It would be a little tight, but it'd be pretty good. Right here is a furnace. This is a, where, you, you know, you can get some heat um, into this home. So there's a couple spots with that right there. And hey, there it is. This is the Furman built by Fleetwood Homes of Oregon. And it I actually liked it. What do you guys think about it? I mean, look at those tall, tall ceilings. I love that. But hey, you know what? Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, travel easy. And I hope you all have a wonderful day.